सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू ए शाज आई एस इंस्टीट्यूट टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी वुड बी लुकिंग एज वेरियस वेज जॉइन द इंडियन डिफेंस फोर्सेज वाई आर द रिटर्न एग्जाम एंट्रीज सो फर्स्ट द फोमोस्ट थिंग वी वुड जस्ट टॉक अबाउट अ बेसिक सेंस लाइक हाउ मेनी एंट्रीज आर दर फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर सम देर इज वन एंट्री आफ्टर द टेन प्लस टू लेवल एंड आफ्टर दैट देर आर मेनी एंट्रीज आफ्टर ग्रेजुएशन लेवल टू जॉइन द डिफेंस फोर्सेज एज एन ऑफिसर so first we would be looking at our first slide so now as i told you all there were two i have divided it into two sub parts sub parts first is the undergraduate entry that is the national defense academy and along with that it also conducts exam for the naval academy but the exam is the same for both of those coming down we can look at graduate entries so the first one is the combined defense services examination about that we will talk in detail in the later part second is the afcad that is the a force common admission test and third is the central armed police forces okay now beginning with it first talking about the national defense academy so national defense academy is a defense academy of indian armed forces which is basically based in khadakwalsa pune and it recruits officers so that they can join the indian air force indian army and indian navy if we talk about the eligibility criteria to join the national defense academy so the age should be 16 and a half years to 19 and a half years as of first day of the month in which the course is due to commence but here i would like to tell you all one thing the age which is given for example as if here we can see the age that is a uh, 19.5 years all right now this age which is given this is basically it means that when you join the academy your age should be 19 and a half years so for the final attempt if we count so to give the last attempt of your nda your age should be 18.5 years and by joining the academy during that time you should be 19.5 years now the qualification basic qualification that is required for this examination is 12th class and along with that a uh, 10 plus 2 system of education equivalent for army and 10 plus 2 system of education equivalent with physics and maths for air force and navy so if somebody wants to opt to join the air force and the navy so they have to compulsorily take physics and maths in their 10 plus 2 level that is in class 11th and class 12th but if you don't have that even if you are a commerce student or an art student you can opt for to join nda to join the indian army specifically all right now moving ahead it is conducted by the upsc that is the union public service commission twice a year and the exam is conducted in the year uh, in the month of april and september and the notifications are generally re released 3 months prior all right 3 months prior the notifications are normally released and after that the form filling and all is done and then the candidates appear for the examination exam most pro uh, in most of the cases the exam is normally on sundays so that it is not affected all right now moving ahead mode of examination so till date the mode of nda examination has been offline there are two papers first is mathematics and the second is general ability test now if we talk about mark segregation so mathematics consists of a single paper of 300 marks and there are 120 questions into the paper the second one is the gat paper it comprises of 600 marks and the total number of questions that are there those are 150 here uh, for example in normally in competitive exams there is positive marking as well as negative marking so in mathematics the positive marking for one answer which you will get would be 0.83 marks and in gat the positive marking which you would be getting is 1.33 marks and there is one third marks uh, one third marks are deducted that is for example if you have a wrong answer three wrong answers would lead to elimination of one correct answer if we talk about the time duration so it is 2.5 hours for each paper that is 5 hours in total the language of the question paper if we talk so it comes in hindi as well as in english but most students many of them they prefer giving it in english and but the english language paper if we talk the english language paper has to be attempted compulsorily in english there is no choice 
so basically in mathematics there are two options either english or hindi and in the general studies part of the gat paper it comes in hindi or either english so candidates have a option see now if we talk about the mathematics syllabus so this subject becomes very important from the nda point of view because there is one specific paper dedicated only to mathematics so these are the topics that arrive in the paper first one is calculus quadratic equations matrices determinants probability trigonometry and complex numbers so this was the syllabus of mathematics so now the students who will be preparing for this exam they have to have a good grasp over this topic from basic to the advanced level because the level of mathematics in nda is quite good now secondly talking about the gat paper that is the general ability test so if we talk about english english is something very basic which if you have studied in english medium school so you would be aware about most of the basics but even if you are a vernacular medium student you can do it with practice in english majorly if we talk about the topics which arrive in the paper are spotting errors comprehension selecting words ordering of words in a sentence sentence improvement antonyms and synonyms now for all these topics grammar becomes very important if i talk r and in grammar if we talk there is basically this parts of speech speech so this is the basic of english if somebody is starting the preparation they have to study parts of speech well and later on they have to move with these topics and a personal advice which i would like to give for english in english first just after you clear your concepts you have to practice more you have to keep giving mock tests regularly with that your speed and everything in english would improve because english is more about a time game in a limited time you have to solve many questions by applying concepts so this would happen with more and more practice now talking about the general knowledge syllabus so as i told you all the gat paper is divided into two parts so now specifically talking about general knowledge syllabus so it is comprised into these many parts physics chemistry general science history and freedom movement geography and current events so from the nda point of view if i tell you all so the level of gs is normally easy if basics of ncrts are cleared so a candidate can answer the questions very easily these all would be the events and a suggestion i would like to give is recent trend of the upsc we have seen that upsc is asking current affairs and in collaboration with the static part so for example in current affairs if there is a topic relating recently president elections were conducted into a country right so now this becomes important so in the polity part or in some part related to that basics of president a candidate should be aware of that because those questions are likely to come in the examination for example this year we'll be celebrating our 75th 75th independence day right now since it is considered as an important occasion and to some extent a jubilee as well so some topics which are important from the independence day point of view specifically into uh the history and freedom movements if we talk about this topic so here the independence movement the designing of our national flag who designed our national flag all these questions become important from the exam point of view so a candidate should study all that in collaboration with that so eventually a planned preparation will help a candidate clear the exam in a easy manner all right so this was all about the nda examination we spoke about so basically even if one studies for 6 months with a proper strategy one is easily able to clear the nda examination now second part talking about the combined defense services examination now this is basically a exam which a candidate appears after his graduation and here there are three basic ways in which one can enter all the three branches of the defense forces that is the Na that is the naval academy the air force academy and the officer training academy and the indian military academy so in this basically if we view the age limit so 19 to 22 is the age limit for naval academy if one if a candidate aspires to join that 19 to 23 is for the air force academy 19 to 25 is for the officer training academy here men as well as women can join 
as of the first day since the age criteria is similar what was for nda in terms of this point as of first day of month in which the due course is to commence the cds exam similar to the nda examination is conducted twice a year in the months of april and september all right now here there is one more exam for example here in the slide it is not included but there is indian military academy all right so basically uh, the entries into the army they are through cds one can opt through two entries that is the indian military academy and the officers training academy and the age limit to join the indian military academy is also 19 to 23 year 19 to 24 years i'm sorry it is 19 to 24 years so one can opt for indian military academy as well now if we talk about subjects all right so now here there is a slight change for example if i talk about the subjects here all right the basic subjects that are given so english as i told you it becomes necessary for uh, the defense exams point of view general knowledge and elementary mathematics all right but here there is a speciality if one is only opting to join the officer training academy which is basically a short service commission job it is only for a duration of 14 years one can serve and if one has a good service record they may even get permanent commission all right so this is the difference between that the subjects which are there there are three subjects english general knowledge and elementary mathematics each paper is of 100 marks now if we talk about the english syllabus so as we saw in the nda even the syllabus here is same but since this is a graduate entry so the difficulty to some extent increases but still if the basics are clear concepts are clear a candidate is practicing regularly he can easily tackle the english paper so the topics which arrive in the paper are spotting errors sentence arrangements synonyms and antonyms selecting words ordering of sentence comprehension questions ordering of words in a sentence fill in the blanks and idioms and phrases this is the syllabus of english now this general knowledge so this is basically a subject which becomes very very important because in the recent times as the competition is increasing the level of paper has gone up all right and because of that the difficulty of paper has increased and due to more competitiveness there are more candidates appearing this exam so now general knowledge becomes very important because the general knowledge of cds is believed to be of a very good difficulty all right we can even uh, not properly but to some extent we can compare it to the upsc prelim examination as well because the difficulty is such the books which are to be referred are such which the candidates of uh, preparing for upsc prelims refer and this becomes an important subject because sometimes it happens since 20 marks is the minimum marks required to get qualified but even after getting qualified there is a specific cut off which is decided depending upon the difficulty of paper and the number of candidates so the upsc decides a cut off and in that sometimes candidate cannot even cross the 20 marks barrier into gs and because of that they are not able to clear the cds exam despite of performing well in english as well as the mathematics paper so in this if we look there are many it is divided into many subjects economics physics polity chemistry sociology history defense related current affairs geography environment sports biology culture and books and various general current affairs so this is the general knowledge syllabus of the cds examination talking about mathematics okay so now here we look same as we looked into the nda examination so as i told you all it is a graduate level entry so the level increases so the subjects which come here are algebra geometry arithmetic statistics mensuration and trigonometry into arithmetic now specifically if we talk about arithmetic so basically this includes time and work speed and distance these all are there are many sub parts of arithmetic all these become important to clear the mathematics paper now third entry that is this is a after graduation entry which is available to join only the air force which is the air force common admission test and if i talk about this exam specifically this exam is conducted online from the past 3 years i guess okay so before this this exam used to be conducted offline but after that this exam became online the duration is 2 hours and if a candidate belongs to 
a engineering graduate community so there are 45 minutes extra given and he has to appear for the ekt test which is specifically only for engineers marking scheme even it is the same three marks for each right answer and one mark is uh, cut off for a negative answer now moving ahead this exam comprises of four section here there is no sectional cut off but an overall score is counted of all the sections whatever a candidate scores that is general awareness verbal ability in english numerical ability that is maths and reasoning and military aptitude so in air force common admission test the general awareness syllabus is same as cds we can talk but the difficulty is very much low compared to cds here more of static things are asked into the afcat paper so the subjects include history politics sports civics geography environment art and culture defense current affairs and basic science this was the general awareness syllabus most probably approximately 20 to 25 questions are asked in the paper if we move ahead now this is the english syllabus for the air force common admission test so the topics which are included here are similar to cds and nda that is comprehension basic grammar fill in the blanks tenses error detection sentence completion synonyms and antonyms testing of vocabulary and one word substitution but here there are approximately 25 questions in the paper so the number of questions compared to cds are very much less and even in difficulty if we compare fcat is considered a easy exam in comparison to cds now if we talk about the numeral numerical ability syllabus so here the topics which are included are decimal fractions simple interest and compound interest time and distance here train boat streams all this are included percentage ratio and proportion time and work average and profit and loss so this is the numerical ability that is the mathematics syllabus of the afcat so here we can see that somewhat are the other these exams have similar topics but the difficulty would vary depending upon the examination third this is a special topic in defense exam which is only asked in the afcat exam in cds and nda reasoning and military aptitude are not a part of the syllabus but if one is appearing for afcat he has to study these topics well so the topics here are odd one out analogy venn diagrams pattern completion dot situation analysis blood relation missing figures figure classification coding and decoding spotting the embedded figures and sequencing these are the topics and normally a lot of questions are for example three questions from a particular topic are normally asked in the afcat examination now talking about the final examination that is available after the graduation one completes it is the central armed police force examination so here since this examination is a replica of the upsc civil services examination because the pattern of this exam is somewhat similar and through this exam one does not join the military but one joins the paramilitary forces that is the border security force crpf itbp cisf ssb nsg and assam rifles if we talk about this paper so this exam comprises so this exam is basically divided into two stages all right uh one is the pre the objective exam stage and another is the descriptive exam stage so here basically there are two papers so talking about the first paper here there are 125 objective type questions in paper 1 and paper 2 is descriptive in nature for example essay writing and writing on various topics the duration of the paper 1 is 2 hours and duration and paper 2 must be completed within a time frame of 3 hours this exam is mostly held in the month of august but sometimes it can vary as well talking about the paper pattern so capf return exam so as i told you all there are two rounds in this examination so the selection process is such in paper 1 as i told you all there are 200 questions for 250 marks and there is 2 hours and in paper 2 there are 6 questions of 200 marks and 3 hours is the time frame paper 1 as i told you all will consist of general ability and intelligence 
having four alternatives for example there would be one questions and there would be four options a candidate will have to mark one correct option and the second one is the descriptive type of paper in this there is essay comprehension and some questions on general studies negative marking so in this exam as i told you all in the first stage there were two papers so only in paper one there is negative marking and here even one third marks is deducted for a wrong answer if there are two answers for a single question it will it will be considered as the wrong answer and the one third will be deducted even if any one of the answers is correct talking about the marking scheme of this exam if no question is answered there is no deduction made in paper 2 which is a descriptive paper there are six questions of 200 marks in paper 2 there is no negative marking and later on in the third round if we talk which is basically a interview and it carries 150 marks so here there is a difference between the interview so uh, if i talk about this uh, in the capf exam the interview is just a normal one to one interview all right but here it also comprises of a of a fitness test as well all right so this exam can be counted into three stages that is one is all the return papers the second is the personal interview and the third is the fitness stage so a candidate has to clear all three to make their way into the paramilitary forces but now here talking about the general ability syllabus so even this is similar here this has similarity with the afcat syllabus which you all can see the topics are most probably similar with the afcat there are some different topics like if i talk there is space visualization there is orientation there is spatial these topics are a bit new compared to afcat other otherwise in the reasoning part most of the topics are similar the intelligent syllabus if we talk about now this has a similarity with the gs part of the combined defense services exam and in this mathematics is also included so for example if i talk about general mental ability this is basically mathematics and later on all these subjects these are a part of the gs part and the level of gs in this exam is pretty high in compared to cds because as i told you all this exam is a replica of the civil services examination the subjects are the same general science current affairs that is national and events and international events there is indian polity and economy history of india india and world geography so this was the process and if i talk about the uh, examinations like nda cds and afcat so these exams if a candidate clears any of these exam so after this a candidate has to appear for the ssb interview which is a 5 day process and after cracking the ssb interview he has to go through medicals and then he is shortlisted depending upon the merit for the choice of his branch that is the army navy or the air force but in capf it is different as i told you there are three stages but in these exams there are two stages that is the return examination and the ssb interview so this was all about the ways to join the indian defense forces i hope i have made all of your doubts cleared and thrown insights upon the different entries the age group and what is the syllabus of various examination what is the marking pattern as well as the positive as well as the negative marks and the subjects which are included in this examination thank you